It's been about a week now. They've been preparing the shrine for the month of Muharram. They're preparing the carpets, the building work, the, the sa'ad, the black cloth for the month of Muharram. And inshallah, tomorrow night, they will be changing the flags on top of the dome of Abu Abdullah al Hussein and Abu Fadl al Abbas from the red flag to the black flag to commemorate the month of Muharram and the day of Ashura. One thing that many people usually miss out or usually forget is that these are not just the graves of the Imams, Imam al Hussein and Abu Fadl al Abbas. The Battle of Karbala actually happened where we are standing now. This is the ground of the battlefield where Abu Abdullah Hussein was murdered by tyrants, where Abu Fadl al-Abbas's hands were cut off by tyrants. This is where Abdullah Radhi was killed by a, a three-headed arrow. We need to remember this when we are in Karbala. We need to mourn the shuhada of Karbala by remembering what they went through, by commemorating their deaths. And that's what these people are doing here, these millions and millions of mourners and visitors they come to commemorate and mourn the shahada of the Ahl al-Bayt and the oppression of the Ahl al-Bayt. We're now drinking the chai with Muhammad Hussain, the servants of Muhammad Hussain, they pour the tea for the Zawar, for the millions of Zawar. There's countless barakat in this tea because it's in the name of Muhammad Hussain. And Alhamdulillah, we have been granted the chance to drink the tea of Muhammad Hussain during the visitation of Muharram.